This episode of cleaningbiz.tv is made possible by Marketing Systems by Design, the only authorized duct tape marketing consulting company in the cleaning industry. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. If you're a cleaning business owner, you've been rejected by prospects. You're not going to get every account. Some people get that and move on to the next prospect. But if you're not happy with your close rate, then take a step back and figure out what you can learn from rejection. The challenge most of us have is that we take rejection personally. But you need to get over that and start figuring out what lesson you can learn from your last rejection. So the question is, how can I get better at converting prospects as a result of being rejected? And the way you find out is to ask the customer. I'm actually pretty surprised at how many people never think to do this. When the customer tells you they went with another cleaning company, that's the perfect time to ask them why you didn't get the account. It's really not that difficult and most people will tell you the truth. And when you learn from every prospect why they rejected you, then you'll learn how to win the next account. Now, I know what some of you are thinking right now. You're thinking, well, I know why I'm getting rejected. It's because they say my price is too high, right? Some of you are thinking that, I know it. Well, if that's true and every prospect is rejecting you because your price is too high, then one of three things is happening. Number one, they're right, you're way overpriced. And if that's the case and you know you're way overpriced, then get some training on how to price cleaning accounts. Number two, you're not targeting the right people. If you are continually fighting the pricing battle, then make sure you're targeting a market that can actually afford your services and that values what you do. And number three, you're not differentiating your business enough from the competition. You've probably heard me say this before, but it's worth repeating until it finally sinks in. If you're not differentiating your business so prospects understand the value of your service, then they're going to compare you on price, and they'll go with the lower price service every time. So, back to rejection. The next time you lose out to your competitor, ask the prospect why they rejected you. You just might learn what it will take to win the next one. So let me ask you, Have you asked your prospects lately why they rejected you? What did you learn that can help you get better at closing the sale? Post your comments below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. That's it for today's show. If you'd like to learn more about how to target your ideal client and how to differentiate your business so you're not always competing on price, then sign up for the free ebook called Seven Steps to Small Business Marketing Success at marketingsystemsbydesign.com. I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.